Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna speak about Google Business Profile Setup in 2023. This is a research tutorial for best results. You wanna rank in Google Business Profile, Google Maps, watch this. I dedicate this video to my friend, Darren Marion. This one's for you, kid. All right, guys, so I hope everybody's doing great. So this video is, is not about how to set up a Google business profile. This video is actually before you set up your, your Google business profile, these are the things that you need to look for. See, what the problem is, is that a lot of people just blindly uh, set up a lead gen or they're setting up their business and they just put in for a Google business profile and then they worry about the competition and reviews and all these things that we're going to go over. So let's do it step by step. It's, it's really pretty easy, but um, it, it's really important that you do these things before you put in for your Google business profile. Now, listen, if you've already done that, it's not too late. So it's, you know, it, it's not too late, but I, I do suggest that you go over these steps because um, it's going to give you a better insight as to how to beat the competition. All right. So today we're using the uh, example electrician and I'm out here in in um, Tampa Bay, the Clearwater area. It's it's beautiful here today. No, it's beautiful. It's beautiful every day here in Florida. I mean, it really is. It's uh I'll just put today. I'll be I'll be honest with you. It is a little hot. I mean, it is a little warm, but it is gorgeous. So, guys, we want to be in this area right here. This is called the Google Three Pack. This is the only area that I specialize in. I do Google Ads, which are up here, right? I do them, but that's not you know that's not what I specialize in. I also do this Google Guaranteed, right? But I I do these ads over here. But I specialize, my clients, the people that come in uh, and, and want to work with me, want to rank in this area. And why do they want to rank in this area? Because on a mobile phone, this doesn't say website and direction. It just says call. So somebody's able to see how many five-star reviews you have, where you're located, the name of your company, and uh, and they could just tap to call. So. You know, this is the most clicked real estate in local SEO. Now, if you're doing a research article or if you're looking for a product, um, I don't know, if you're looking for, you know, something uh, that you could buy nationwide, this isn't the area for you. So I get some people tell me that they have an e-commerce store and they want to rank in the Google three pack. So right away, I discourage them for that because they figure they want to start off in their area. It really doesn't make any any sense. Somebody like that, I would I would just uh, work on social media and and get my word out that way and work on my national brand and get them right here in this area, which is the um, uh, Google organic section right here, right? Okay, so we're talking about this area right here, the Google. Um, Google Business Profile, and this is where we want to rank. If you're if you're a plumber or electrician, a lawyer, you know I go through the same things all the time. You have a local business, and you need business from your area. You want to be found here. So let's do this first. The first thing we're going to do is come over to this website called Niche.com, right? And in Niche.com, it gives you a good overview of the area. So it tells you about the schools and the nightlife and the diversity and if it's good for families and housing and stuff like that. But here's the thing you really want to know. What's the population of the area you're trying to rank in? Right. So if a client came to me and they were a, a criminal justice attorney and they were located in Manhattan, let's just say Wall Street, somewhere around there. There's millions of people in the downtown Manhattan area. It's going to take a long time for a brand new business to rank in the Google three pack. However, if you're the same business in in Clearwater, Florida, there's only 116,000 people in that area. And there's probably, you know, a lot less 
electricians than there would be in Manhattan, for example. So it would be a lot easier. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get a general sense of the of the population in that area. Right. And also, you know, I've had people come up to me and says, hey, you know, I want to rank in this area. And I look at their city and they only have three thousand people in their city. Right. And breaking proximity sometimes is is tough because they're either located by an ocean or they're located, you know, miles and miles of, of, of trees, forests. Right. They're located in the middle of nowhere. So that wouldn't be a very good client for me. So that's the first thing that I want to look at is I want to look at the population. Can they can they get a return on on investment in that area? Um uh, you know, so I want to know the population and it's also going to help me with the competition. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to just scroll down. And what I want to do is I want to look at the names. Now, if you haven't put in for your Google business profile yet, right? Notice that each one of the names ranking in my area in Clearwater, Florida, Tampa, Florida, You'll notice that they have the the uh, the word electrician or electric. See that? Now it's not too late, and let me explain something. It's not too late to add it to your name now. Meaning that if you're a plumber or you're a criminal justice attorney or you're a DUI attorney or you're a plastic surgeon, no matter what you do, it's not too late to add that into your name now. However, two things. One, it could cause a suspension. And if it does cause a suspension, there's a chance you could lose your reviews. Now, I use a program called uh, uh, GMB Everywhere. Right? And I want to show you something really important. Each Google business profile has what's called a CID number. Think of it like a social security number for your uh, Google, for, for each Google business profile. So you have a social security number, it, it, your Google business profile has a CID number. So when you change the name of your business, sometimes Google changes your CID number. And what happens is you lose all your reviews. Right. So if you're just starting and you have five reviews, right, let's let's talk about this. You, you know, you only have five reviews and, and you just put uh, Tom and Dave's. That's the name of your company. And I'm like, look, you only have five reviews. I would take the risk and put electrician and back it up with some paperwork. But right away, I'd put the word electrician on the end of Tom and Dave's. Right. But be prepared. You may lose your reviews. So I use this program and there's other ways of getting it, but I use this program called GMB Everywhere. And if you click basic audit, a couple of things I want to show you. This is real cheap too. It's only a couple of dollars a month. I do suggest that you get it. You'll notice the CID number right here. I would save your CID number. For all my clients, I saved my CID number because if we have an issue where we lose our reviews for one reason or another, we have the CID number so Google could go back and uh, retrieve whatever information that is lost. The other thing about GMB Everywhere, and it has a lot of good information, is that you're able to see the categories that your competition is putting in for. So you'll see this one just has electrician. However, let's go to quality. You'll notice that they have, okay, they only have electrician, but you'll notice that some of them have like five or six different categories. I would say, that's, that's another question that somebody asked me today, like, Brett, how many categories should we put in for? And it's just my opinion that you should keep it five and under, I think. Right. Just my opinion that it waters down after five. Just make sure for whatever GMB category you put in for that you have on your Google business profile, you have a page on your website. Right. So if it said electrician, it said AC installer, it said heating contractor, whatever you, you know, the GMB categories are handyman. Make sure you have a page on your website for that GMB category. 
And then what you should try to do also is get all the keyword pages that go along with that category. But I digress. Right. What we want to speak about right here is just getting the CID number. And this is a way of getting it using uh, GMB everywhere. There's other programs. You could just Google how to get my CID number. But keep your CID number. Write it down on a piece of paper so you don't lose it. If your website goes down, if your GMB goes down, you're going to need that. All right. So if nothing else, this part, um, uh, this was worth it, right, for the video. Hey, guys, if... Um, you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe because there's a lot of people like you looking for this type of information. And when you subscribe and you like and you comment, it shows Google that you're interacting with my videos and that somehow you like it or something and they push it out to more people. All right. So, OK, so uh, we got the CID number. Now, here's another thing that we want to do is we want to check the main category, right? So you'll notice here is electrician. Everybody has the, the top one as electrician. You'll notice that uh, people that aren't ranking in the Google three pack aren't using for electricians near me, they aren't using the keyword electrician in there as their number one category. I may have to scroll down too much, but you can know you'll notice it on your on your own. Uh, that as, as you start to go down and go next, 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 that the people that are in the back are using the wrong GMB category. So that is the number one ranking factor is using the right GMB category. So you want to make sure that you're doing that. And you want to do that first. You don't want to wait down the line, you know, two years down the line to realize that you're in the wrong GMB. You're in the wrong GMB category, right? All right, so something else I wanted to show you is reviews. Now, if you notice here, we have Fast Wiring has 39 reviews. We have Quality Electric, uh, electric that has 13 reviews. And you have Red Royal with 825 reviews. Now, something that I'd like you to see here is that, is that, um, Let's just click this. I just want to show you something. You want to see in reviews, you want to see the their newest reviews when they got their newest review. So you'll notice that it was 23 hours ago, and this one was a day ago. So if I were, this was two days ago, right? This was four days ago. So if I was going to try to rank a client here, what I would do is I would make sure that five or six days a week, I got a review every single day. I would get one review because that's the pattern that Red Royal sent. So these other two people that are ranking in the Google three pack, they have to put two other people there, right? They have to put two other businesses there. Uh, but if they're not getting reviews every day, we could knock them out, right? Because they only have 39 and 13. Okay. Remember something, guys, that the reviews have to come from this area. They have to come from the area in which you're working from, which you registered your Google business profile. So, for example, if you registered it right here, uh, where Smart Home Electrical Services registered there, you want to get it within like a 10 mile radius. All your reviews you want to get in this area. It is not going to help you if you get reviews out all the way over here by Tampa Bay Downs. Right. That's not going to do much for your Google uh, uh, Maps rankings. So you want all your reviews to come from this area. You want the reviews to mention your name, your business name and the service that they provided that you provided for them. Now, if if somehow in the review you're able to mention a point of interest, if it's part of the story, that's even that's fantastic. So, for example, if you mention Morton Plant Hospital, right? If you mention that somehow in the electrical review, if there was a way to somehow squeeze that in, right? You'd really have to be a creative writer, but if there was some way to squeeze squeeze that in. Um, 
that would help out a lot. Another thing, guys, when you do reviews, please try to get pictures. Now, the pictures don't necessarily even have to be of the place. Just don't use stock photography. Take a picture of your wall outlet and use that for, for you know, electrical, for example, right? Make sure that the picture uh, um, uh, correlates with the service that was performed. But when you do a review, please upload a picture. That that helps in regards in regards to ranking, right? Okay, guys. So uh, those are the things that you need to do to set up. I would get this program. There's two programs that I would suggest for you. There's GMB Everywhere. There's another one called GMB. Let me set this one up for you. GMB Crush. Right, and that's another one uh, that could help you with your initial research. It's called GMB Crush. Right, and then the other program that's completely different than those two is a grid program called Local Falcon. Now, I have an affiliate link in the in the link below. Yeah, uh, it, it doesn't cost any more to use my link. They just give me a small commission if you decide to use it. But you cannot do. Uh, 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 ranking in the Google three pack without grid software, because what grid software does is that it lets you see where you're ranking and where you're not ranking. So you could make adjustments uh, to your campaign. Right. So, uh, you know, uh, for example, if you weren't ranking in this area, the bottom left area, you know, you could do some Google posts saying that you serviced this area, 20th Street in Tampa Bay, for example, right? And you could push out five or six Google uh, Google posts saying that, you know, you did some electrical work uh, in this area. And that's going to help. That's going to help your rank. And there's other things you could do as well. But you can't blindly uh, um, uh, get signals from these areas or push out signals to these areas if you don't know where you're ranking. So... I can't stress it enough. If you're doing it yourself or you're having your, uh, an agency do your work, they need to send you grid reports each month to show you where you're ranking. You don't need SEM rush and Ahrefs and, you know, uh, spy foo and don't get lost in uh, uh, going down a rabbit's hole. You, you want to just focus on that small area rate, uh, radius, which is right here. Right. Just this area. And you want all your signals coming from this area. It just makes SEO so much easier that you're concentrating on this little 10, 20 mile radius. than you know, if you're whoops, <laughs> you know, if you if you're worried about the whole state of Florida or the whole state of Texas or, you know, even better yet, the whole United States or let me see if I could do it again. The whole world. Right. So, guys, I hope this video helped you. You know, I always try to make these videos because it's important that I'm able to help people because there's been people in my life that helped me. And, uh, you know, I create these videos so I could help you. And um, we do these videos so we could have a, a good life and we could provide for our family. So the most important thing is that we provide for our family. We're good to our wife. We're good to our kids. We appreciate them, right? And and that's how we uh, and that's how we succeed in life. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. And remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, guys.